Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to be opening up four of the newly released LEGO Simpsons Series 2 collectible minifigures. These just came out not too long ago, and I got these for $4 at Towards R Us, but they are also $4 at Target and just about everywhere else you are going to go. So like I said earlier, this is season, this is Series 2 of these collectible minifigures. Uh, because the first series was oh so cool, oh so awesome, and since then we have gotten the Quickie Mart, and I really hope that we get some smaller sets to go along with the larger sets, the Simpsons House and the Quickie Mart. So I just sort of just grabbed these bags. Um, I didn't really fill them up or anything like that. I just want to experience it the way that I guess it's meant to be, complete mystery. So before we get started and open these up, let me just tell you uh, some figures that I'm hoping I will get in these packs. So I'm, I'm really hoping that I get uh, Comic Book Guy, I would like Bartman, and I would also like, uh, let's say Millhouse as Fallout Boy. Don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we will see. So I'm gonna take these three packs and just move them over. And let's open up this. Now I know normally I haven't done one of these in a long time, but when I did, I used scissors, but I don't have scissors. So I'm gonna use a serrated knife to open these up. <laughs> and hopefully I won't you know, completely slice my fingers open. So well, we didn't quite get in there. So there we go. If there's any jump cuts and then you see a bandage on my finger, it's because I completely sliced my hand open. All right, so let's see. The first minifigure that we got. Oh, nice. All right, we are off to a rocking start, folks. I can tell just by looking at the cape, this is Bartman, the sort of superhero alter ego of Bart Simpson. Um, I really haven't looked too much at the later uh, episodes of The Simpsons, but. Um, you know, I don't think they really show too much of uh, Bartman. You know, this is kind of hard to do this while looking through the viewfinder. So, uh, yeah, jump cut. All right, let's take a good look at Bartman here. This is a really great uh, figure. I love this. And that slingshot looks very much like the slingshot he used to wear in the show. Like, So, like I was saying before I did the jump cut, I don't know if Bartman has even made an appearance in some of the later uh, episodes of The Simpsons. Right now, they've just been renewed for the 27th and 28th seasons, I think. So, I don't know how prevalent Bartman has been, but let me tell you, you know, back in the 90s, when everyone was doing the Bartman, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. It really wasn't. But yeah, this is a great, this is a great figure. I'm glad that he is the first one that I got. And uh, yeah, let's hope that comic book guy is in here along with Fallout Boy. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna pull focus. And let's open up the second bag with my trusty serrated knife. My Ginsu serrated knife. All right, now this one feels thick. I don't know what this one could be. So let's see, let's pour out something. What is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? Okay, all right. So we got uh, either Patty or Selma. I don't know which one, but let's pour out the rest. I don't know if this is Patty or Selma. Let's take a look. So this is gonna be Selma because her hair is uh, down like this. Patty has the hair that's like sort of up and Selma has the hair that kind of just goes down on both sides. So we see Selma, she is holding the eye chart because of course Patty and Selma work at the DMV where sometimes they don't let the lines move at all and they call those weekdays. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, really a uh, good look on her and this hair piece is just really, really great. In fact, it's not even a hair piece, it's actually just uh, connected to her head. So, you know, you can't even take that off. It's all just molded into the, to the head piece there. So no hair piece, but that is really good. That's good for Selma. Let's move her over. We got a family affair. We got Selma and we got Bart, and we've got two more left. I'm just kind of feeling this, and I am kind of afraid that this is going to be another Selma. Oh no, no, these things are, $3.99 a piece and uh, you know that's not cheap people so you know the less duplicates the better all right so let's take a look come on come on come on come on 
we're waiting and shake them out we got a base plate oh no this looks different this looks different Ooh, awesome smithers all right we got smithers this is really cool i really didn't expect to get smithers in fact i forgot that he was even in this series of collectible minifigures but this is great I am not upset to get Smithers at all. And I have Mr. Burns from the first series. So these two are gonna go along very well with each other. And Smithers also comes with this really cool print, printed piece here. It's the Malibu Stacy with the new hat. That was from an episode of The Simpsons where uh, Lisa tried to get another, uh, another doll made to inspire little girls, Lisa Lionheart. And this is what the Big Toy Company used to counteract Lisa Lionheart. They just re-released Malibu Stacy and gave her a new hat and everyone went crazy. It's uh, kind of like if uh, Apple releases a new iPhone and they say, hey, look, the color's different. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. Awesome. All right. Fun fact about Waylon Smithers in the really, really early season, like season one, he was a black guy. Not anymore. Okay. It was weird. He had like brown skin and like blue or purple hair. It was odd. All right, so that's uh, three down, one more to go. Now, I was hoping for comic book guy, but I don't know if I'm going to get him. But whatever I get, let's just hope it's not a duplicate. So, knifey, knifey, tear her open, or tear it open. I don't want to say her, that's kind of bad. And lastly, Professor Frank, is that you? No, that's Dr. Hibbard. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dr. Hibbard. Okay. So, yeah. Dr. Julius Hibbard. I keep shaking the camera like crazy. I'm sorry. I just get excited during these uh, minifigure blind bag openings. So, yes, this is Dr. Hibbard. I'm going to stick him on his base as well as I can looking through this uh, viewfinder. There we go. That's a cool look. You know, Dr. Hibbard was kind of like the. Uh, Dr. Huxtable, if you will, of the Simpsons world. And I've looked at other um, blind bag openings and uh, Dr. Hibbert seems to be a pretty common get. So I'm glad I didn't get more uh, duplicates of him. And this is the piece that he comes with. It's this printed tile x-ray piece of Homer with the crayon stuck in his head. Um, that was an episode where when they took the crayon out, he became super smart, but he isolated himself from people because he was so smart and people didn't like him. So he put it back in and he became dumb again. So that's how that goes. So now let's take a look at, oopsie. Let's take a look at some of the other figures that are in this line that you or I can get. So we got Homer, Marge, uh, Lisa and Maggie. And the thing about Maggie is it's the exact same Maggie that came in the Simpsons house, but she has Santa's little helper with her, the dog. So I think that's really the only reason why someone would really would want to get her just to get Santa's little help, helper. And we got Bartman, of course, and Fallout Boy, comic book guy, Martin Prince, Pro Professor Frank, Professor Frank, makes you laugh, makes you think, Hans Moleman, and Selma and Patty. Oh, we got more. Sorry, we got more. Groundskeeper Willie and Edna Corbapo, Waylon Smithers, and Dr. Hibbert. So, four out of 16, my very first blind bag opening, and no duplicates. Thumbs up. So, there you go, everybody. The first four Simpson series, two Lego minifigures that I managed to get. Four different figures, four blind bags. The streak is looking really good right now. So once again, if you want these, just head into your local Toys R Us, Target, uh, Walmart, stores like that, and you should be able to find these guys without too many problems. There were several in each of the stores that I checked out, and they are four bucks a piece. So I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna do one of these blind bag openings, but uh, hey, who knows, it might be very soon. Ironically, the Toys R Us is nearest to my house, I didn't even see these here. I was just visiting my parents and um, I went to a store near them and they had these. So if my local store pops up with these, then I should grab some more and I will do more videos on them. But can't say when, but most likely it'll be soon. We'll see. So thanks so much for watching. So until next time, I'm Jeremy and I will talk to you later.